Hello everybody, I'm Scotty. Welcome back to Scotty's Clock World. Today we're going to take this Korean wall clock movement apart, so let's get into it. Right, we'll loosen up the nuts that are holding the plates together on the posts. We won't take them all the way off initially, we'll just loosen them up a bit. We can make sure there's no power left in the trains. All right, comes out there. That piece is fixed. That one there is going to stay on there. All right, we'll undo them a bit more, loosen them up. What I'll do first is I'll hold that and I'll take one of these off. By removing the nut on there. And yeah, I, if I remember from the last one they come off, they just come straight off, it just depends how tightly we've got that No, it's too tight that's pushing back and that's holding that there so that looks like it's going to stay there for the moment, I can't see that I can't see that moving for the minute Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, well, we'll loosen the other one off and I'll put that nut back on for a second because I'm not particularly confident that that's going to behave itself when we take it to pieces. We take those other nuts off. So we'll leave that there for the moment. Take these guys off, put them in a tray. Wind them down. And start lifting the, the top plate up. Bit at a time. Alright, we'll take those two off. And see if we can get a little bit of leverage underneath here. To lift that up a bit. That is super tight. Okay, the rest looks all right actually. Power is down on the main springs now, so it should be safe to take the top plate off. So we'll get back to that. and lift these bottom pieces up we'll use a screwdriver for that it'll give us a bit of extra leverage that's one all right there was a little bit more power in that by the sound of it Rings running down a little bit. All right. So lift the top plate up. It's still pretty tight there. Down the bottom. Lift those. Pieces there up and get them out. Get 
That'll make it a bit easier for us. That's one. One on the other side. That applies, take it out. Thank you. That's all right. Now we've got a circlip that's appeared down here. I'll have to see where that comes from in a moment. All right, let's remove the top plate. Still a bit, a bit tight on there. It should. Now they. Ah, got. Ah, that kind of comes from the back on that one. All right. So we know where that comes from. Put him over there. Now we've got circlips on the front here that have to be removed. Right, we'll remove those circlips. It is pretty tight on there, and a lot of oil floating around there too. Seems to be pretty tight. No, I don't think. No, it's not going to fit in there. Well, I'll have a look at this one. See if we can get a start on that or not. Here we go. That one's come out. I'll put that aside. Now, if that'll come out, we'll go back to the other one. Try the other side again. Yep, that's made a move. Now, that's feeling a little bit more positive. As in, we can take the top plate off. Right up at the top. And then lift these couple up. Down at the bottom. A little bit of extra incentive there. And I think we're about ready for the top plate to finally come off. We'll take it very carefully. We don't want to lose our parts. Okay. I'll put that there. And Reinstall these parts that have jumped out. Then we'll know exactly where things go. Right, so there it is. Now we'll take the parts out and put them in our foam block. Start off with the strike side. Put the fly at the top. We'll take the main spring out. That one's easy because we undid the circlip at the back. It's the first wheel. On the strike side, we'll put him there. Second one. Third one. We'll sit down there. Now, hammer should come straight out, and I forgot to take the circlip off the time train spring, so that's not going to move, so we'll have to take the wheels out around it. Escape wheel, first up at the top. The next one, we'll put them in the, the orientation that they're in, and the first wheel, if we can get that out. Put him there. That will come out and go there. You can find a hole to stick him in. That's got him. Good hope. Put them aside. Now we'll take this other circlip off that I should have taken off before. If I can get it, it will. See if we can. Yeah, it's got him. Thicker pair of tweezers and if we can pull that out. There we go. That's got him. Turn it over. And then remove the mainspring. There's our click. 
and a very interesting looking click spring there. The click spring is attached to the great wheel there and it runs around inside here where the main spring is and then just attaches with a little bit of a hook onto the click. Most interesting. That didn't cost much to manufacture, I'm sure. All right, we'll put that in the box. And there's our empty plate. That's the wheels for the movement, all in the correct orientation. 